guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to discuss our discussion on revit met 2021 in this exercise we are going to create a call out view of a section to display more detail so you are designing electrical plans for a multi-story building so you need to create a call out view to show wall mounted electrical panels in more detail than is shown by the building section Okay, so that is what we're going to do. So let's learn how to create a callout view of a section. Okay, to display more detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the section view here, which is uh, section 18. So this is going to be a quick video. Okay, and then in this view, we're now going to create a callout. So callout has something to do with the view. So you already have a hint there. So you need to go to the view tab. And then that's your call out. Okay, so it creates a rectangular call out in the view. So call outs isolate a specific portion of the model geometry to show a greater level of detail. So reference call outs allows uh, the same view to be referenced more than one time in a project. So I'm going to select this one, call out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a call out let's say of my panels here so this area here so i'm going to pick my first point here and then i'm going to pick another point here there you go okay and then i select here modify so by the way you can select the, the boundary of your call out and then as you can see you have uh, different nodes there that you can use to resize the shape or the boundary of your call out so you can use that one to resize it and you can even um, reposition your call out bubble here so like you can drag that or you can create an elbow you can click that and then you can create an elbow of your call out now you will notice our call out bubble here doesn't have any detail well it's because the call out that you have created is not yet placed inside the sheets or the sheet okay so that's the reason why it's empty but you will notice later on after we place the call out that you created uh, using this command you'll be able to see a detail there once we insert this call out inside the sheet okay so now from the project browser if I'm going to uh, expand the detail views here so you'll be able to see there the call out view that we just created okay so you can hover your pointer to the call out and then you can look at the lower left corner here on your status bar to know what is the name of this view as you can see if I'm going to hover and look at the lower left corner so it will tell you that that's view detail view detail zero right so as you can see, it's there on our detail views, detail zero. So to open the call out, it's either you double click this name from the project browser or you can just double click the head here. Just double click that or you can click the call out, right click, and then you can select there, go to view. Okay, if you click that, as you can see, it will open up the detail zero as if you already double click from the project browser. So this is how it looks like. So this is now your call out. So you can click the boundary of your call out and then you can just adjust that one. Just like that. To add more detail to your call out. Okay. And then from here, you can add um, additional annotation or text. If you want to add more details to your uh, call out okay now the next thing that we are going to do after we create the call out is let us open up our sheet here so from the project browser so there's the sheets e601 panel schedule so let me double click that one and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert the call out that I have created okay so there's my call out here so I'm going to change the name by right-clicking that and then selecting rename. Okay, so let's rename this. So let's say um, this is call out of section 
18. Okay? So, I'm going to insert that inside the sheet here by simply drag and dropping the call out of section 18 in your sheet here. So, just drag and drop. Just like that. Okay, so there's your call out. So, just place it. Okay, so it's too small, so you can change the scale here. Okay, so you just uh, click and then go to the properties here and then you can change the scale here. Okay, so let's say I'm going to select 1 inch is to 10 feet. Oh, uh, I don't want that scale, so how about uh, 1 inch to 1 foot. There you go. So just drag that. Okay, and then your title here, if you want to move this separately from the view here, because if you're going to drag that viewport, as you can see, the title also move, right? So if you just want to move your title and then place it nicely somewhere here, you just need to click that separately. So just click that one and then you can you now drag that to that portion there. So if you want to resize that line there, so you need to click the viewport, just click that, and then you can now click that blue node to change the size, okay? All right, so basically this is now your call out inserted inside your sheet. Now, if I'm going back to my section 18, you will notice here that our call out bubble now has a detail, okay? So now it says here um, E6011. Okay, so meaning to say the call out that you have created can be found on sheet E601, detail number is 6. So you can go to the sheet six uh, E601, just double click that and then just look for detail number 1, which is this one. So basically this is that one because sometimes you insert uh, several or few call outs inside your sheets here. Now, for you to be able to know uh, or for you to be able to point out where is that call out that you have created, so you need to look at the detail number and then you go to the sheet where you have inserted that and then look for the detail number, which is one. So this is now that particular call out. Okay, so again, like what I have said earlier, you can also add some text here to add more information to your callout view. All right? So that's it for creating your call out. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? So once again, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.